a special guy, man. Um, he has his unique talents. Um, just like Jake, you know, um, J Jake has an arm to him, you know, and uh, I mean, whoever's back there, we feel super confident. Next, we'll go to Adam Lichten's team to the Sun Sentinel. Adam? Hey, Xavier. Yeah, that was basically a similar question to mine, but similar, you know, about Jake, you know, how have you guys kind of tried to maybe help pick him up? How has he been doing? Because he's had a few turnovers the last time he's gotten on the field. Well, you know, I mean, we all still believe in Jake, you know. Um, but like I said, whoever's back there at quarterback, we have full belief in them, and, um, you know, we're going to go balls to the wall for them, whoever's back there. Our next question for X will come from Manny Navarro from The Athletic. Manny? Hey, X, you know, one criticism of this offense, I know you guys aren't scoring as much as you want, but one criticism is that maybe it's not uh, as diverse as it needs to be. In other words, it's not, you know, creative enough, et cetera. How do you feel about that running in this offense? Will, Will just told me that, you know, this playbook is thicker than the one that you guys played with when Rhett Lashley was coordinator. Yeah, I think that Coach Gaddis has an amazing game plan every single week. You know, we just got to do better as players, uh, just um, – you know, executing our small details. And, I mean, it, it sometimes it just comes down to, you know, one guy just um, not doing the right technique. It's not even about him, like, missing a whole entire, um, like, his whole entire job. But it's just one small technique could throw off the whole entire play. And, and you know, you need all 11 guys on offense to, um, to execute at a high level. Our next question comes from Frank Tucker of Kane's Country. Frank? Hey, X, what do you think the biggest difference between the offense last year and this year is? It, it's The personnel is not that different, and there's been a lot of guys that were supposed to be impact, impact guys last year that have gotten older, developed more, like you, Jacoby. Uh, you know, Colby's now added to the offense. What, what's the biggest difference, and why is there not that production that there was last season? This comes down to execution. You know, last year we were executing better. Um, and last year was the se second year that we were in that offense, you know. Um, but, yeah, it just comes down to executing. That's all I got to say. We'll go back, back to Adam Lichten's team with the Sun Sentinel. Adam? Hey, again. So uh, we were asking Will a few minutes ago just about, you know, what a ball game means to you guys. Uh, what does it mean just first in terms of, you know, to get there, you would have had to finish the year strongly. And then how important are those ball practices that you guys get? I mean, they're all good, you know, especially for the younger guys, you know, developing and stuff like that. Um, but most importantly, we just got to be one to know this week, you know, just focus on this week, Georgia Tech. And, um, you know, they got some great guys on that on that defense. You know, they bring tons of pressure, um, big physical corners, secondary. Um, so we just got to, again, execute. We'll do the last few questions for X. We'll go back to Susan miller Degnan from the Miami Herald. Susan? Hi. Hi, X. Um, I know I noticed that uh, Bryce's number is still on that roster, um, and I'm sure you do too. Do you still keep in touch with the family, or how does that make you feel? How nice is that? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, um, you know, the quote, gone but not forgotten. You know, he, he'll always be in, you know, my mind every time I step on the field, you know, um, even in practice, I'll say a little prayer, um, just asking that he watches over me. Um, but, yeah, th this week is definitely going to be an emotional one, you know, um, Every single time we played Georgia Tech, it's been emotional at the beginning of the game for me because, um, you know, I know I'm supposed to have my brother out on the field with me. But, um, yeah, I mean, I mean I'm mean, i glad that his, his name is still on our roster. It means a lot. Um, but, yeah, this one's definitely going to be one for him. We'll wrap up for X with Daryl Streeter from Footballville. Daryl? Yeah, just going on. Um, if you don't mind, how did you – you utilize your time off. Did you um take it to learn a new hobby or do something? Talk to us about your time off, man, and and, and what you did. Um, what did you do? when you had time off. The time off from my injury. Yeah, from your injury. Yeah. Um, you know, I mean, I just dove down into the X's and O's more. You know, um, just studying defenses, um, looking at tendencies that all different types of teams do, um, especially for the games that are up and coming. You know, um. Like, I just studied them and uh, just helped my teammates out, you know, with te techniques and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, I mean, just working on my leadership, my faith in God, and it just went day by day. Awesome, X. Appreciate your time and good luck on Saturday. Thanks.